I wanna welcome you to the Ask Jeff YouTube channel. Here's today's question. Is salvation something that can ever be taken away? Well, those of you that are veterans to this channel, veterans to Ask Jeff know uh, that this is the most quantifiably frequently asked question that I've ever gotten over almost 30 years of doing this. It doesn't matter if I'm in the context of young people, college students, young professionals, senior adults, there is just this struggle within us that questions, can my salvation, can my relationship with Jesus Christ, per this specific question, can it ever be taken away? Well, here's the great news. In John chapter 10, Jesus made a very clear statement. He said that we are in his hand, and he said that no man or no thing can ever pluck us out. And so, therefore, Jesus himself said that it could not be taken away. And again, there's a lot of different approaches to this question, but one of the things that I want to address very specifically is we try to be biblical on this channel. What does the Bible say? Not what does a denomination say, not what does some theological paper say or some theologian say. There are certain words in your Bible for people who, quote, get saved. They experience salvation. They are, quote, saved, born again, redeemed, reconciled. I mean, those are good words, right? Regenerated. Yet, at the same time, you don't find anybody in there, not even at the church of Corinth, which was carnal at its core, you don't find anybody labeled as, you know, they became unregenerate or they became unsaved, they became unborn. You don't see that anywhere in scripture. In fact, in one of the most heinous examples of carnality, there's a man in 1 Corinthians that says that he was turned over to the devil for the destruction of the flesh so that the spirit might be saved. I believe personally the reason we struggle with this question is because we struggle with three very important words. There is faith, there is facts, and there are feelings. And our faith, what are we putting our trust in? Our putting our trust in the facts that if we as a sinful person call on our Savior Jesus to save us, the Bible says in the book of 1 John chapter 5, verse 13, we know that we know that we know. We may not feel it at times. We may experience emotions at times, but our feelings should never trump the facts that our faith is based on. Great question. If you have one, send it to askjeff.net. Maybe your question will be tomorrow's. Thanks for being a part of today's daily question. Now, we answer a question each and every day. Please feel free to submit a new question at askjeff.net. We may not have gotten to yours today, but we eventually will continue to be a part of this. Subscribe so you don't miss out on a question every day.